What up YouTube, Team Movies here, and happy Friday 13th. Now, I've been doing my reviews for all the uh, Friday 13th films. Now, while this is not really technically much of a Friday 13th movie and all, it still, of course, has the one most icon um, of the more, and that is Jason Voorhees. Going up against one of the most iconic horror villains of all time, Freddy Krueger, and Freddy vs. Jason. Now, this, of course, got released way back in 2003 and was directed by Ronnie uh, Yo, who also uh, directed um, 1998's uh, Brian Chucky. So he was no stranger to the uh, horror background, and of course uh, he ended up casting uh, John Ritter's uh, son Jason Ritter in this, because of course uh, John Ritter appeared in, uh, ended up appearing in uh, Brian Chucky. So I always found that to be pretty cool. And so now here, of course, you got Freddy vs. Jason. This time, he's not portrayed by Kane Hodder. He's portrayed by this uh, actor named uh, Ken Ker uh, Kurzinger, I think his name is. And of course, you had Robert England reprising his role as Freddy because why not? Uh, Robert England. I mean, you can replace Jason Voorhees easily, but Robert England is Freddy. You know, you cannot replace Robert England as Freddy. At all. I mean, Jackie O'Haley was okay, but Robert England is is the um, is the uh, this figure uh, you know um, killer we all know of that you know, kills you in your dreams and all that. <laughs> now. They've actually been trying to get a Friday uh, vs. Jason movie off the ground for like pretty much for years, like all the way back in 1988. It never really uh, came to fruition until 2003. And here you also had some interesting uh, cast lists. Like you had, uh, like I said, you had the aforementioned Jason Ritter. Uh, you had Monica Keenan portraying the uh, lead, um, the lead girl here. Uh, you even had a uh, faint uh, Desi Child um, singer Kelly Rowland. Her, her death is probably my favorite out of the whole film, by the way. I mean, he's, he's trying to talk down, like talk to uh, Freddie and all that, and trying to talk down to him, like uh, she, he, like she's a psychologist to him and all that. But last minute, uh, J she ends up seeing Jason Voorhees, and Jason pretty much uh, messes her up. I'll put it that way. I mean, she pretty much gets flew, or, um, gets killed and fly off a tree. So yeah, uh, you even had um, that uh, one dude from uh, Riverdale who plays Jughead's uh, dad, um, Lystra and Mountain. I think his name is. Uh, he appeared in this. He was pretty cool. He, uh, he had some really iconic, cool uh, kills in this one. I mean, of course, uh, Jason and Freddy both going at it was really sweet. I mean. We've had, you know, iconic uh, characters going at it before, like we had Alien vs. Predator, we had uh, Batman vs. Superman, uh, but none of them beast Freddy vs. Jason. I mean, those two were the most iconic horror masterminds of all time, and just seeing them go head-to-head -head in Freddy vs. Jason was sweet to watch. It's entertaining, it's fun, It's uh, the kills in it is really cool to watch. And of course, they were supposed to do a sequel to it as well. Uh, I remember, like years ago, they were supposed to do like a sequel of Freddy vs. Jason vs. Ash from Evil Dead. That never really came to fruition. I mean, they've been trying to get a sequel to Freddy vs. Jason off the ground for years. It never really, uh, you know, happened. Like they're still even talking about doing one, but I don't know if it's ever, if we're ever gonna see another Freddy vs. Jason movie. But Freddy vs. Jason is still super fun to watch. It didn't really get well received. It only has like, I believe, a 42% of Rotten Tomatoes. Like, I know it's in the 40s range. And it made some pretty good though. Sad to say we never really got to see a sequel go around. But I would love to see another one. I mean, Freddy vs. Jason is just super fun to watch. And I always got to doubt it. Anyway, uh, let me leave it to you guys. Have you ever seen Freddy vs. Jason? If so, what's your topic? Were you a fan of it? Uh, what's some of your favorite moments from it? Uh, what's some of your favorite kills in it? And would you also be down to see a sequel in the future? Drop a comment below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. This is your C-Movie sign off.